Hi, now I'm going to talk about services. If you want to share data among components, you need to create a service. If you need any utility function, just like you want to create a function to sort the data of an array, you define a service and write that function in that service. And from that service, you can access data in multiple components rather than adding a function in each component that will uh, create a, a lot of duplication of same code. So I have nothing but I have this project, I have nothing in my app.component.ts file, I have nothing in HTML file, uh, in module file. So first of all I need to create a service. So in order to create a service if I go to my uh, github.com slash angular slash angular dash CLI I can see that there are these ways we can create a service and for creating a service ng space g space service and after that I need to write the name of my service. So let's come back to our uh, project in WebStorm and here I'm gonna write ng space g I'm gonna write service and after that I'm gonna name uh, the service and the name of my service should be uh, let's say my data. So I'm gonna press enter it's gonna take some time and create a service in my app folder where my components exist and my pipes exist, my uh, custom components that created for the routing exist. Uh, so I've already created a tutorial that how to do routing, how to create components. Uh, make sure to check that out because I'll be using one of these members or product component uh, to share this service data. Okay, so service has been created, it is not being shown up. I need to uh, refresh this folder so I'm gonna uh, close it and click on it again. You can see that the service has been created my dash data dot service dot ts and above that I have my data service for writing unit tests. Okay, I'm not be writing unit tests right now. Uh, so I have this injectable uh, import from the Angular core. I have this injectable uh, function call and this is the class uh, in which I'll be writing my service function. So inside this uh, service uh, I need to create a uh, few functions or any data it can be any object it can be any variable and uh, that variable can be accessed uh, outside this service so first of all I need to add the service in my module so I will open app.module.ts file and write uh, after this app component I'm gonna write import within curly braces uh, I need to write the name of my service. If I go to my mydata.service, this is the name of my service. So I'm gonna copy this name and paste it right here. And this is from the path my data service. Okay, so once that has been imported, I need to add it as a provider in this app.module.ts. So this is the provider, I need to copy and paste the name of my service. So this has been added in my app.module.ts file. So now I'll go to my service and I need to define outside this, after this constructor, uh, let's say I want to create a, a function. So uh, let's say I want to create a function success. Okay, so it's gonna return me a message successful and above that let's create um, an object so uh, I will write uh, the object and I'm gonna name it obj equals to id and id would be one name would be my name and roll number let's say this one okay so I have created an object and I've created this function. I'm gonna save it. Now I need to use uh, this data, this function or this variable outside the service within the components. So I have nothing in my HTML, I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna close the module.ts because I just need to add it in my provider. So I'm gonna close this one. And in my component, I need to add the import statement in this component. So I'm gonna go back to my app.module.ts and I need to copy the same import statement that I wrote inside it and I'm gonna paste it right here okay 
so now in order to use this service within this component I need to use a constructor function so I'm gonna write constructor and I'm gonna write private and I'm gonna name the service um, and here this is the variable of service I can name it uh, anything so new service colon and after that my data service curly braces so I have um, added that service uh, in this constructor with the new name of that service so I'm gonna save it so now uh, I'm going to uh, console.log this message okay whether it shows up or not so I need to first write ng on and it this will be automatically called uh, as our digestive cycle and whenever that app component will be initialized this will automatically be called so inside it I'm going to write console.log and inside it I'm going to call this dot new service dot and you can see that it is showing me uh, all the variables uh, function name and an object that are available in my service so I'm gonna call a success function so now uh, let's run our application to see if we got uh, this message or not that will be returned by this function a successful in our console.log so after some time our application has been started now I need to go back to my localhost column 4200 and inside my console.log you can see that the message successful has been printed so uh, our service function is being accessed within our component okay so let's try to access our variable so I'm going to write console.log and this dot new service dot object okay so let's save it and I'll go back you can see that our object has been fetched from that service within our component now as I mentioned at the start that uh, we can share data among different components so right now app.component.ts is our default component in order to use the same service in our other components that I have already created make sure to check out my previous video in order to see how to create a component so I'll go back to my product component and I'll open up my product.component.ts and inside it uh, in order to use that service I need to copy this line and paste it and I need to bring up our service just like uh, I did in my default component so I'll copy and paste it right here okay so inside my ng on init function of our uh, this is giving me an error because uh, I'm inside a folder so I need to go back a bit more in order to access the path of my service okay so make sure you write dot dot forward slash uh, before the name of our service okay so uh, inside our ng on init I'm going to write console.log and I'm going to write this dot new service dot success okay but in order to use this component uh, I need to add its selector within our HTML template of our default component as I explained you in my previous video so inside it I'm going to write the name of our app product component so I'm going to go back and you can see that uh, it has shown up product works uh, because this was because of our uh, HTML okay but if you see right here this is a, this successful is from app.component.ts and this object have been logged 
from the app.component.ts and this successful message is from the product component. So we are accessing the service from the product component as well as from our default app component. Okay. Now the benefit of doing this way is that if I change anything from any of these component, it will also reflect the change in other component because the service is independent. Um, that service will have only one instance. If I change the value of any key uh, of this service from any of these components, it's going to reflect uh, in other components. So I'm going to remove uh, both the lines and inside ng on init, I'm going to write this dot new service dot object dot name and I'm going to change the name to John. Okay. So after that, I am going to log the name. Okay, let's first uh, go to our product.component.ts and I'm going to remove from here as well. Okay, so let's go back to our browser. You can see that the John has been printed because uh, before printing the name of our object, I changed the value of name key. Now, if I copy this one and paste it in product.component.ts, uh, this should print the changed name. I changed the name of service uh, key uh, in app.component. Now I want to see whether that change has been occurred uh, if I call the same service from other component or not. So I will write product um, this message in other component. So I'm going to save it and go to my browser. You can see this is from our other component that is product component this is from our default component so we can see that the same function the same object same variables same service functions can be utilized in multiple components these services are independent so uh, in order to write same logic in each component it always a good practice to create a service and write that utility function in that service so that's for it. I hope that you have liked it. Make sure to subscribe my channel and like this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next part of this tutorial series.